Today we're going to take a look at three curtain robots that you can use to make your curtains smart. Automatically have them open or close at certain times of the day, when you leave or arrive home, when it gets too hot, too bright. You get the idea. We have here the SwitchBot Curtain, the brand new Acara E1 Curtain Driver, and the Zemi Smart Curtain Motor. I'm a HomeKit user, so we're gonna get these into HomeKit. We're gonna test them out, and I'm gonna try to help you determine which might be the best for your smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So we're gonna compare these three curtain bots today. Links are below in the description in case you wanna pick one up for yourself. I've also put time codes in the video as usual in case you wanna skip around to any certain parts of the video because we do have a lot to cover. We're gonna talk about everything from the installation, the apps and features, compatibility and much more and as usual we're gonna focus on the home kit integration today I remember not too long ago there were no options for something like this in home kit so I'm pretty excited to now have you know a few options to talk about with that said only two of these currently at the time of recording have native support for home kit and that is the Acara and the Zemi Smart. The SwitchBot does not, but I wanted to include it in today's video for a couple of reasons. One, SwitchBot has recently announced that they will be bringing HomeKit support to more of their products in the near future with the release of their new SwitchBot Hub Mini uh, HomeKit version. So eventually this SwitchBot curtain should gain HomeKit support whenever that new hub is released. It does work right now through Homebridge or Hoobs which is how I have mine integrated into HomeKit. So that is an option for now if you have a similar setup. And two, SwitchBot is kind of the OG when it comes to these curtain bots. They were the first that I remember and have just been doing this for a long time. This rod version here that I have is in fact like the second rendition of this product. So I figured it would be good to compare these others with this one because I do think they've got you know some things right here over time. All of these products do require a hub. There are numerous Acara hubs that you can pair the E1 curtain driver to. The Zimmy Smart products do require the Zimmy Smart HomeKit hub. I've done videos on both of these that I'll link in the description if you're trying to figure out, you know, which hub is best for you. Both the Zimmy Smart and the Acara curtain motors connect to their hub via Zigbee and the Acara is actually claiming future support for Matter as well once that rolls out. And the SwitchBot connects via Bluetooth Low Energy. It is BLE 5.0, which is sort of the best you know, version of Bluetooth. And they say their Bluetooth technology features proprietary power-saving BLE with mesh support. So I don't know, whatever that means. I do have my SwitchBot connected to the SwitchBot Hub Mini. And with that, you can get access to cloud services like Alexa and Google Assistant and Siri shortcuts. So this does support Siri shortcuts, which is great and might be a good alternative for you since there's no HomeKit support. But as I've said, I do have mine connected to HomeBridge, which does give me that you know uncertified HomeKit support. Each one can support both curtain rods and rails. SwitchBot and Acara have separate versions, so you have to make sure you know you get the right one when you order. Whereas the Zimmy Smart one simply comes with different attachments to use based on whatever kind of curtain setup you have. The Acara costs $89.99, the SwitchBot costs $99.99, and the Zimmy Smart costs $101.50 at the time of recording. It says it's normally 175, but I doubt that. Also beware shipping costs, especially with the Zimmy Smart because that one is shipping most likely from China, uh, which probably costs a little bit to ship and will also probably take longer than two days. Both a car and SwitchBot you can get, you know, probably free shipping from Amazon at least. Uh, and I have seen discounts on both of these products, both the car and switch bot run specials pretty often. So you can probably find some good deals, you know, if you're shopping during the right time. Contents in the box of each are pretty similar, especially with the Acara and switch bot. With switch bot, you get your manual, the curtain motor, these clips and charging cord. 
And then you get these little beaded clippy things. More on this in a minute. And that's everything we get in the SwitchBot box. And as you can see, a car is very similar. We have some clips, charging cable, the motor itself, manual. Here is uh, some little plastic ropey thing, which is uh, kind of the equivalent to that switch bot beaded thing. Uh, and we have the top part that wraps around the rod that the motor hooks into. And that's everything in the Akara box. And the Zimmy Smart, pretty similar, except there's not any beaded or those little clippy rope thingies. Here we have the motor and all the different connectors. Uh, you know, you'll use the proper one depending on which type of rod or rail curtain setup you have. Have. And the Zimmy Smart actually comes with the remote, so that's something that the others don't have. And we put them together, you can see the size difference is pretty obvious. The SwitchBot is clearly the smallest here with this little compact design. The Akara is pretty huge. Now let's talk battery life. Akara boasts up to one year of battery power between charges with its onboard 6,000 milliamp battery. So that's pretty good. I guess a car is utilizing that bulky size for that good battery. This is the longest lasting battery of the three. SwitchBot claims eight months of battery life and the Zimmy Smart claims five months of battery life with only a 3000 milliamp battery. Of course, battery life will vary depending on your usage and conditions. Both the Akara and the SwitchBot support USB-C charging and the Zimmy Smart uses micro USB. Both SwitchBot and Zimmy Smart have a solar panel option that you can purchase if you want. One solar panel from SwitchBot is $19 and Zimmy Smart actually has combo packs that you can get with the solar panel included and you can get e even a double pack uh, if you need like two motors for your curtain. I didn't see anywhere that they sold the solar panels individually. I'm not sure if I just missed that. Akara is the newest one here so far and there is no solar panel from Akara but with that one year battery life on the Akara, maybe having a solar panel really isn't that big of a deal. I'll be using the rod version for each of mine. I actually don't have curtains in my home, so that's why you see this curtain testing rig set up in the corner of my studio here. You might wanna check the compatibility of your curtain rods before making a purchase. Akara only supports rods between 25 and 32 millimeters. That is a very small range. And the first rod that I tried to use the Akara on was just too thin. It simply would not work. The SwitchBot has a much better range supporting rods between 15 and 40 millimeters and the Zimmy Smart supports a range of 20 to 28 millimeters. So still not as good as SwitchBot, but definitely better than the Akara. I think that's probably the biggest downside to the Akara motor. It's just such a small range of sizes you know, that the rod version supports. They each have good documentation on the sizes that they support for I-rails and U-rails also. It does appear that SwitchBot has the most compatibility here also. Just be sure to check this real closely before making your purchase, you know, regardless of which brand or style you go with. Now for the installation, I've only done testing with the rod type, so I can't speak on the rail type specifically. Again, a car would not work on my thinner rods. The SwitchBot and the Zimmy Smart had no issues here. Now, if you're using a double rod, you know, where there's like a smaller part um, kind of inside the bigger part, I really can't recommend any of these too freely. Uh, I had issues with all of them trying to get over that little transition part. Now, SwitchBot does show the curtain motor working fine with this type of setup on their website. I did do some testing. It did get hung up a few times. So just be warned, there is a good chance you may have issues if you have, you know, one of those longer double rods like this. If you have a single rod with no transitions, you shouldn't have any issues at all. Installation was pretty straightforward on all of them, but the Akara definitely takes the cake on this one. Again, assuming you have a curtain rod, you know, that is the correct diameter. To install it, you just put the top part on and snap the little clips together. You double tap the button on the motor and the hooks will raise. Hook them on the top part and then double tap again and the hooks will retract, tightening the motor onto the rail. Super easy. I really love the installation on this Akara one. SwitchBot recommends putting the two pieces on the rod separately and then just snapping them together. 
Uh, by any means, not a bad installation at all. Not quite as smooth and you know elegant as the Akar installation, but uh, pretty easy installation here. Zimmy Smart recommends adding the rod hooks first, and then you insert these little pins, then you snap the motor and tighten it to the rod. Uh, you want to get this as tight as you can. Now Akara tells you to install these little rubber strips with the clips along the curtains and the switch bot also has something similar with those little beads but I really don't see the need for this personally. I guess the idea here is so you can pull your curtains closed without having them like stretched all the way out. Again, I don't really see the need for this in my little testing setup, uh, but I, it is an option on both the Akara and SwitchBot if that's something you care about. As you can see, I tested out two different types of curtains, the grommet curtains and these here with the little loops. For this type of curtain, you'll need some type of clip or something here so that the curtain doesn't get wrapped up in the motor wheels. SwitchBot has good documentation and provides clips for this type of curtain. Akara doesn't really mention this, but you could probably use the little clips that uh, were provided in the Akara box to do the same thing with that motor. Of course, it doesn't look near as good on a curtain like this because you can see the motor so easily, whereas the grommet style curtains pretty much hide the motor completely. Akara has a maximum load of about 26 pounds or 12 kilograms. SwitchBot has a maximum load of about 17 pounds. And Zoe Smart's right there in the middle with a maximum load of about 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. So if you have huge bulky curtains a car might be the you know one you need again that larger size probably being utilized for a stronger motor they each can be added in their own app the Akara app the SwitchBot app and the Zimmy Smart actually uses the Toya app Akara and SwitchBot are probably the easiest to add with the best setup and configurations you know options and stuff like that in the app the Toya was a little more confusing but eventually I was able to get it added to that Zimmy Smart HomeKit hub and with the Zimmy Smart and Akara since I already had those those hubs paired and working in HomeKit. Once I added them in their app, they automatically showed up in the home app, which is awesome. SwitchBot requires using a home bridge and the SwitchBot plugin in order to get those into HomeKit as of right now, but you know that's a topic for another day. I will put a link to the plugin that I use down below if you are using HomeBridge and wanna check that out. All three allow you to pair them with other curtain motors, so if you have curtains that you know open and close from the middle, you can use two motors in order to accomplish that. I feel like the SwitchBot probably has the best app experience of the three. The UI just really makes a lot of sense to me. Both configuring the curtains and controlling them is all very clear in the SwitchBot app. They give you the option of a performance mode or a silence mode, which is nice. Performance mode will be much faster but louder and the silent mode will be more quiet but a bit slower. I didn't see any different modes like this in the Akara or the Zimmy Smart or the Toya apps. All three will show you the battery levels in the app. Both Akara and the SwitchBot have a touch and go feature which allows you to still open and close the curtains manually. I just feel like if you did this a lot, then it might eventually throw off the calibration a little bit. You can create automations and schedules in all of these apps, but the Akara and the SwitchBot motors actually include an ambient light sensor on the device itself that you can utilize in automation. So you'd face the sensor towards a window or something like that where you can have the shades automatically open and close based on the light level. So that's pretty awesome, a nice little feature. And know that a Cara light sensor is not exposed to HomeKit, unfortunately. However, the light sensor on the SwitchBot is actually exposed to HomeKit when using HomeBridge, but it doesn't seem to be very reliable. Again, that SwitchBot is not native HomeKit support, so take that with a grain of salt. Once it does gain native HomeKit support, maybe we can kind of revisit that and take another look. In HomeKit, they all function similarly to something like shades, roller shades, if you've ever used anything like that in HomeKit. You can change the icon to a cool little curtain icon that opens and closes. The Akara curtains also show you the battery level and the charging status in HomeKit or the Home app. The Zimmy Smart does not. And they all work well as expected in HomeKit. Even the SwitchBot using HomeBridge, that plugin seems very reliable 
and should do just fine until there is native HomeKit support for SwitchBot curtains if that's the route you go. Performance in general is good for all of them. Again, I experienced issues with all of them a little bit on those double rods, so do keep that in mind. The Akara and the SwitchBot ones are definitely faster, so they probably have better motors, stronger, faster motors. The Zimmy Smart one is noticeably slower. I do like that I can change the mode of the SwitchBot to be slower and quieter if I want, but otherwise it moves pretty fast, which I kind of like. So what are my final thoughts? What are the pros? What are the cons? And which one is the best? So I know the Akara one is big, but I really like the long battery life that they claim on this. Again, they say up to a year between charges, which is really good. Plus this one has the largest maximum load, if that's something you need to consider. So that's a good option if you have really big, heavy curtains. The Akara motors do operate very smoothly and does probably seem to be the most secure one and stable on the rod while it's moving. It definitely has the best installation process of the three, but its lack of compatibility with many rods does make it hard to recommend unless you have the perfect setup for it. That compatibility and the size are really my only issues with this Akara curtain motor. If you have a compatible rod and can hide the motor behind your curtains, I do think it's a good option, especially if you already have an Akara hub of some sort. It is a solid, well-built product and it seems to operate very well. And native HomeKit support is great, of course. They are claiming future support for Matter, which may be an important factor for some. A solid product, but this one is definitely not for everyone. If you're not as concerned about native HomeKit support, then it's hard not to recommend the SwitchBot curtain. Again, they've been doing this for a while and seem to have really you know, ironed out a lot of the kinks. The product is built well and supports the largest range of rod and rail sizes. It's definitely the smallest of the bunch. A slightly weaker battery than the Akara, but eight months estimated battery life is not bad and still better than the Zimmy Smart one. Plus you have the option to add solar panels, which is nice. I like the app setup and the controls the best in the SwitchBot app compared to the others. Um, I like the option to put the motors in performance or silence mode. It does have the lowest max load of the three, so that might be something to consider. We can deduct some points also, of course, for lack of HomeKit support you know, at the moment, but it does integrate with Siri shortcuts, which might be enough for many um, Apple users. And not to mention the SwitchBot HomeBridge plugin is very good if that's something you have set up like I do. And finally, we have Zimmy Smart. It has pretty good compatibility for rails and rods, and it is cool that it comes with interchangeable parts depending on you know, what type you need. It has the lowest estimated battery life of all three, so you'll probably have to charge this one a bit more, and it uses micro USB versus the other two that use USB-C. That said, they do offer solar panels, so if I went with this one, I'd probably go ahead and get those solar panel bundles. Setup and configuration was a little clunky using the Toya app, but once I got it all set up, it does work well, and of course, native HomeKit support thanks to that Zimmy Smart HomeKit hub is always a good thing. It is slower than the other two and lacks some of the extras you'll get with the others like the ambient light sensor and the ability to automate based on that. It does feel a little bit cheaper than the others, especially you know around the connections that attach to the rod. I'd probably go with this one if native HomeKit support is an absolute must, but your rods maybe aren't compatible with the Akara curtain motors. So as you can see, we have some pros and cons for each of these, but it's really nice to have the options. You really need to consider, I think, your use case and setup and maybe also consider which brands you've already bought into or are considering buying to since they all do require a hub uh, in order to use them like this. For example, if you already have an Akara hub or a Zimmy Smart hub, it might make the most sense to just go with that brand so you don't have to buy another hub. I hope this video was helpful. If you're considering Akara, check out this video right here where we discuss all the different hubs and which one you know, might be best for your smart home. And over here, we have my video on the Zimmy Smart HomeKit hub that we discussed today and some of the accessories you can add to HomeKit with it. Subscribe and turn on notifications for new videos every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Feel free to bring any questions to the live stream and we can discuss. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.